Guys, if you want to know how cold it is, look, this is how cold it is. Do you see the snow? Frozen mid air right there. Do you guys see it? It's snow as it was falling. It got frozen mid air. Look at it. Where's the bird? Oh yeah, the crane. It's, uh, so he's supposed to bring luck in Japanese culture. Let's hope he brings us a little bit of a warmer climate than we have right now, because it's really cold. We're doing our early Sunday walk. It's so nice. It's completely deserted on the streets. We just have our, had our breakfast. Part of the Amsterdam Light Festival. This. Particle matters from Jason. Yeah, so it's spread out throughout the, uh, the city center. And the festive light. Oh, yeah, yeah. If you guys want to know more about it, scan it. See? But uh, because huh? of the energy crisis, yeah. the artworks are now turned off. Yeah, because. Yeah. yeah. During the day, of course, but um, they turn them on far less than they used to. Yeah, shorter so time. In the evening, I think, till midnight. I think so, but it's really too cold for us to come out and film it. It's just not gonna do it. It's too cold, guys. But uh, yeah, so there's a huge energy crisis going on in Europe, Western Europe. Actually, Europe as a whole. Uh, look at these guys. This is almost the icon of the Netherlands. What is it called, Mike? A Liefertje? Yeah. My darling, something like my darling, translates. They're giving each other a kiss. So this right here is the Amstel Hotel. This is where, and now I'm gonna sound like Maleficent. This is where royalties, nobilities stay when they come to visit Holland. For example, the Prince of Morocco stayed here a little while ago. So the brother of the the present king of Morocco. My birth country. It's a beautiful hotel. But uh, I'm seriously, uh, it's, uh, it's a true story. This is where the pe people, folks with the big money stay. Let me take a look at the entrance, Mike. From this give you guys a good overview it's a beautiful hotel it's on the 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 pond there's this big pond on the back you can either get here by cab or during summertime they sometimes can offer you some sort of a boat service beautiful it's gorgeous guys it's so cold I cannot film for too long I'm really sorry by the way me and Mike are thinking getting one of these just to give us a little bit more mobility because we're still vo uh, avoiding mass people avoiding public transportation and all that so what we have here, I think that's a Colombian flag. Not really sure. Please correct me. So maybe someone, some important someone from Colombia is here. I think that's a Colombian uh, flag. Otherwise, what I see here is the Amsterdam flag, outer right, and then the possible Colombian flag, and then the flag of the Netherlands, and then the flag of the uh, European Union. So... 
I think they do that with the flags too, just to indicate what importance a person from what country is staying here. But I could be wrong. So let's look up Mike. Jeez, guys, it's so cold. It's so cold. And I wasn't planning on filming, especially with this cold weather. I just like to keep my hands warm in my uh, jacket pockets. And that's it. I have something with my fingertips. They get so cold. It's abnormal cold and they start to hurt as if someone is shoving pieces of glass in my finger tops, tips. So this is the back of this beautiful hotel. Oh man. I'm sorry guys, I'm aware that you guys see a little bit of my gloves. Just bear with me. I'm sure someday when it's summer, it's beautiful weather. We're gonna come back and film this for you. But now with this Christmas lightning, of uh, this Christmas light decoration, I just had to share it now also. So again, the light festival that's going on right now, always around this time in Amsterdam, different artists participate and it has to do something with light. So they have to make objects that either reflect light or give light or that you can light on or That's the city hall right there. And this is one of the nice bridges here in Amsterdam. That's the theater, Carré Theater, right here. And if you keep continuing like this, you end up at the station. That's way, 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 way over there. But yeah, for now, look. The elite is still sleeping. There's Mike. Back to Mike. So there's Mike, back to you. So there's the circus, there's Kare. Mm, it's so nice guys, it's so nice, you smell burning wood coming off all these houseboats and that's how people are trying to save some money with the energy crisis that we have going on here everyone is doing it we're doing it too so that means thicker pajis pij I can't say it. pajamas thicker pajamas socks blankets on the couch Keep minimal uh, hours of using heat. What can you do about it? This is where we landed. This is this is the world today, especially here in Europe, because we're still living like savages because some people find it necessary to start wars, to invade countries, to disturb the peace. Thanks, Russia, but no, no thanks. It's beautiful. Of course, people, one, one thing, one thing. We always must be very careful with saying things like thanks Russia or thanks to Russia or Russia started the war. It's not Russia, it's the government of Russia. Because like with every nation, every country, what the government does, does not necessarily have to represent where all the people in the country think or would like to decide, so. So yeah, we feel sorry for everyone, but we, I also feel sorry for the people of Russia that they have this kind of a president. Speaking of Russia, here we have what we call the Hermitage, representative of some of Russian culture aspects and arts here in Holland. That's why we always have to be very careful and selective with on whom 
we vote, to whom you give your voice. You have to be very careful and very, very sure before you give that person your vote. Because many, as history has taught us, end up abusing it. Look what a happy bench. This is a really happy bench. Very happy bench. Look at that beautiful bridge, you guys. So beautifully decorated with so many. It's being so cold right now, there's nobody outside. Yes. So yes. We're taking a different route. Yes, yes, yes. There is literally nobody on the street because it's so cold. So now we dare to expand in our neighborhood. I mean, this is all a couple of stones. How do you say that? Stone throws away from our home, but still different directions that sometimes we take. Can you guys see it? Look how beautiful this is. They look bright orange in real, but I don't know if that's what you see on the screen. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. That's Hotel uh, de l'Europe. And then the Tyshinsky Theater, where Mike used to go as a kid. Those of you that know, they've been following us, probably have heard that story. And um, the floating flower market is also that. That way we're looking at it more or less through here, the tower, one of the oldest towers here. So yeah, there's a lot going on in that section but alas that's the exact section we have to avoid because of the crowds so so to all our friends that say that they miss us they want to meet us here in Amsterdam someday when things are back to normal then we'll be happy to go with you guys and guide you through the city and have lunches and brunches brunches and lunch <laughs> Mike is taking some pictures, we'll be sharing on his Instagram. I have taken some pictures, but, but they all look uh, like I died yesterday. Because it's cold. <laughs> it, is, it is very yeah, cold. Yeah, it's cold, so yeah. Look at those people, those are real troopers. It's so cold. There's a wind. Yeah, that's because there's a lot, it's a lot of wind blowing and it's really cold wind in dutch we call that geur. Geur. Geur wind. repeat after us geur. Geur wind. <laughs> feel it in your throat geur. Geur. and then all of a sudden i got a deja vu this is pironi we've never sat, sat there except for once when me and mike have been interviewed by this very friendly gentleman. I, I I think he's watching our channel always. So if you're watching, we hope you're doing okay. Sometimes you even send us email asking how we're doing. But uh, yeah, we were interviewed about living in uh, Amsterdam city center and how we deal with the crowds and the craziness of the humongous amounts of tourists that we have to deal here with on a daily basis. So if you finished your uh, research, don't forget to tag us in your research that you were doing. And we hope you already did. Yeah, and I hope by now you just finished your college and uh, everything went okay. <clears throat> yeah, it's really nice. It's so nice and quiet. So yeah, <laughs> speaking of the crowds, who would have expected this, right? Who would have expected this? One year we're being interviewed about how we deal with the craziness of the crowds and the mass tourism. And now we have this. Yeah, Mike just said now we're inside for three years. So maybe your next research is how we deal with being inside for three years. <laughs> the irony. There is irony in this. Let's see how we can avoid these people get Mike.
Do you guys remember these these purses? These tulip-like purses that we shared with you a couple of years ago. So these are the bag, these are the bigger versions, and then you have like these tiny versions, which are so cute. That's so cute. That's really cute. Yeah, you like that purple bag, Mike? Look at the brooch. Ah. That one is really cute. I'm hearing some American tourists. I thought everyone by now is staying home for Christmas. Look, it's a mini Bluetooth speaker. Oh yeah, that's really crazy. <laughs> and the uh, light. It's cute. Look, if you want artistic earrings. Look at the small... Uh... Oh, that's crazy, that's nice. <laughs> Look, such a small lamp. Maybe you can wear it as, an, uh, as, a, as a ring. Paper tulips. Ah. I love these, by the way. Yeah, me too. There's this beauty about this simplicity. Yeah. I love wooden uh, toys. Yeah, me too. Still love them. And then our favorite store on this block. This is a store that you cannot... Okay, yeah. So cute. This is a store that you cannot just walk by without stopping and looking. It's now mostly toys that you see, which are cute, but they also had like things that you can use in your everyday life. Yeah, things like this, for example, this kind of stuff. So nice. How many words for the Look glass? Look for the T. Four? For the glass. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let like, me, like. See, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The Not... rim of the glass. Look at that. See? Just little things to jazz up your daily life. I think it's beautiful. <laughs> he looks like Pompey. But he mostly reminds me of our Bagheera that we lost. Our very, very beloved dear Bagheera. Yeah, it's so cute. It's a purple unicorn. Yeah, you want one? Christmas bubble. <laughs> that thermometer is cute as well. Yeah. Yeah, it's a very artistic store. Love it. And the lady that owns the shop, if it's still the same owner, I'm not sure. We haven't been here for almost three years. Such a, for more than three years. More than three years, yeah. Still there. Such a kind lady. And this is what you guys love about Amsterdam the most, these kind of bridges. They're beautiful. So I understand. So we were watching this really kind American couple that moved to Holland and they were talking about what annoys the Dutch people. One of the things is please don't out destroy our authentic bridges. When you're a tourist and you come here, please don't do this. Yeah? Most of us local people hate this. We see this as an attack, as an attack on our heritage. So please don't do this. Find other ways to remember and to, to seal your love for each other, but not by destroying heritage. Don't let your love symbolize destroying things. So, and as you can see, all across Amsterdam, they're now reinforcing the, um, the, canals. the, the canals and right here in the one of the most beautiful spots they've chosen to use this 
Yeah. So it's, yeah. I think we're lucky that they did what they did at our end. Yeah. Because this is, this is just terrible. This is terrible. And if you guys know, don't know what you talk about, uh, Mike is still referring to, we have a whole playlist about a very issue that we had with the city, uh, the, what is it, the municipal the canals, yeah. yeah. Time to warm up, we're home guys, man, it was so cold. Checking my fingertips. <laughs> Sometimes you just get paranoid, You're like, is, is there something wrong? No, it's just painful. Anyway, just made, they made uh, Mike a latte and a nice herbal tea for me. Mm, and then some Santa Claus treats. There you have it. Just try to make the best out of it, guys. Whatever you are, whatever you have. It's always a way to make of whatever you have the best out of it. Mmm, time for French toast with bananas. Mike goes bananas for French toast with bananas. And maple syrup. Yeah, it's good. So It's really good. So it's easy. So you soak these white bread slices in milk. Then you soak them in scrambled egg. Uh, in the egg that you scramble, you add a little bit of cinnamon. And that's it. So first you bake this one side a little bit, and then you, t you flip it, and only then you add the bananas on top. So you add the banana on the, the side that's already baked a little bit. Otherwise you get end up with scrambled egg between the banana and the bread, and it's really not. Yeah, no. No. So. There you That's go. A no -go That's area. a no-go area. That's a no-go area. Absolutely. Still so cold. All right. It's time for the most excited part of your day. This is probably the highlight of everyone. Stay. Yeah. So look at it. This is how it looks. Oh, sorry. Yeah. No. Already had a shot of that. So we're gonna Christmas up this little town. Day three. Is it day four? Wait a minute. Is it day four? Or day three. Are you sure? Yes. Wow, I'm a day behind. Oh, it's an elf. Only 20 days left until Christmas. 20 days. Ah, I remember this. I remember this. Did you guys know that when I was volunteering for this uh, pet zoo, that uh, this is when that came out, so Mike had installed this on my iPhone. And during the break, everyone at that zoo 